What's a regular uploading time? What's a schedule? Don't ask me, I wouldn't know. Hi, um, I'm Gemma and it's been two months since I've posted anything. I apologise, I forgot. In all fairness, I literally forgot. But I'm back from the dead doing another book haul because I buy too many books. So this is February and March smooshed together in this video. Let's go. The first one I've already started reading and holy moly I'm dying. <laughs> it is American Monsters by Derek Landy and this is the third and final book in the Demon Rory trilogy. Holy moly I love this series so much. I love Derek Landy so much. I've been reading him since I was like nine. Um, for those who don't know, Demon Road is a story about Amber and, you know, she's average. She's a little bit chubby. She's a bit unpopular. Um, but her parents are perfect. And one day she finds out that she's a demon and her parents try and eat her and it's, it's a big mess. But it is so funny, so hilarious and I hella recommend this series. I'm like a hundred pages in and I'm already like crying at the fact that this is the last book that I ever get to see of Amber and Milo. The next book is This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab. Um, look, <laughs> I don't really know much about this book, but I believe Peru's project really loved it. From what I know, it's about a girl called Kate, and she is a bit of an anti-hero. She lives in a world where evil deeds become evil monsters. So, they just like manifest into these very real nightmarish creatures and Kate herself wants to take after her father and become one of these monsters. Whew, how good does that sound? I love anti-heroes. They are so interesting because they feel so real. The next is another book that I've actually started reading. Wow, I'm 117 pages in. It is Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan. Now, Bit of an unpopular opinion. I don't really like Percy Jackson. I know, shock horror. I just, I don't. Um, I don't know, like, I, I just don't know. But I love Norse mythology. I possibly love it more than Greek mythology. So I thought I'd pick this up, give it a go. It's at Target for like $12. So I have it, and the more on this match is break me in the head. I'm not sure if you can see it. But it's there. The next is a book that I'm a little bit unsure of and I'll explain why but it's The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt and the reason I'm, I'm unsure is there's heaps of praise for it but one of my friends Zakaya, she also has a booktube, I'll make sure to link it down below but we go to school together and she's read this and she did not like it. So I'm a bit confused about whether or not I should read this to try and resell it or give it to a friend I don't know I don't even know what it's about but I guess I'll find out if I decide to read it next is a book I've had my eye on for a while and it is The School for Good and Evil by Soman Shainani I don't know but it revolves around Sophie and Agatha and they um live in a world where there's a school for good and there's a school for evil people. Agatha has always thought she'd be sorted into the school for evil and Sophie always thought she'd be sorted into the school for good. However, they get sorted into the wrong schools and they learn about the black and whiteness, or lack thereof, of good and evil. And that sounds hella cool. And I believe this is middle grade. Oh, there's like illustrations. I'm not sure if you can see, but they're cool. I'm looking forward to it. It's been in my um, book depository wish list for like a year. <laughs> the next is, um, what is it? <laughs> Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantle. Um, there's a girl in my literature class called Florence who absolutely loves this. All I know is that it revolves around the Tudors. I literally know nothing else, but I tend to love all books that have won the Man Booker Prize. I feel like, ooh. <laughs> not sure if you heard that, but I tend to like the books sorted from the Man Booker Prize the most. I feel like it's just my kind of genre. But I'm very, very, very excited because history and Henry the Fourth, Henry the Fourth, Henry the Eighth, 
The next book is We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. I love these little orange classics. They look so good like when they're all lined up. Um, so I thought I'd pick this one up. It's about a girl called Mary Cat and her and her sister move in with her uncle after her sister is accused of murdering everyone in their family. Same. Wouldn't be complete without a Hemingway book. Last haul I had three, this time I only have one. Fiesta, The Sun Also Rises. Set in Paris in the 20s, however I believe it shifts to Spain. I'm excited, I love Hemingway. A Movable Feast, best book ever. The next is The Blinding Knife by Brent Weeks. And for my birthday last year, um, two of my friends, bless their souls, um, bought me The Black Prism, which is the first book in this series, and it's about like people who can control prisms of light, except the more prisms they control, the more it kills them. It's very, it sounds very interesting. I have not read it yet. This was originally $32, although I got it from like an op shop or a thrift store, and it was like three bucks. So I don't know if I'll like the other one, but if I do, the next one is conveniently right here. And last but not least is Wicked by Gregory... <laughs> Who's it by? <laughs> Gregory Maguire. So I actually owned this book when I was younger, but I got rid of it. I didn't own this edition, I owned a different edition, but this one's much prettier. And since I unhauled it, I have seen the Broadway and I loved the Broadway. So again, I saw this at the thrift store for $2 and I was like... You're going on my floor. <laughs> so anyway, that concludes my 10 book haul for February and March. I promise to stay to somewhat of a schedule. Um, I know I said that last time, but we'll see. Anyway, until next time. Bye, guys.